what's up everybody welcome to fast science in this video we'll try to learn what is antimatter antimatter is a material which is composed of antiparticles just like matter is composed of particles they both have equal mass as well as size the thing that separates them both is the charge that they carry and also few properties such as baryon and lepton numbers baryons are the particles that are made up of three quarks like protons and neutrons leptons are fundamental particles like electrons the baryon and lepton numbers for electron proton and neutron are as electron is not a baryon, so its baryon number is zero. And as proton and neutron are not leptons, so their lepton numbers are zero. The special property of antimatter is that when both antiparticle and particle meet each other, they annihilate and release huge amounts of energy. For instance, when a particle and an antiparticle of mass m meet each other and annihilate, the energy release would be equal to two times mc square, which is quite huge. Who knows this ridiculous amount of energy can be used to power space automobiles or making a huge bomb? Only time will tell. But there's a problem. The Big Bang should have created matter and antimatter in equal amounts. That means the matter and antimatter should have cancelled out each other until nothing but energy was left behind. But there was a little matter left due to some sort of asymmetry. We still are unable to explain the reason for this asymmetry. And it still remains a mystery till date. But we should be thankful to that asymmetry as that's the reason planets, stars and all the matter including humans exist. Humans have already produced antimatter using particle accelerators. Well you might wonder how in the world they managed to store it because if it was exposed to matter it would have annihilated instantaneously. So scientists came up with an ingenious solution to store them in a device called penning traps where they use electric and magnetic fields to keep them from colliding with matter. Well you don't need a particle accelerator in your backyard to produce antimatter. There are many natural reactions which can produce antimatter. For instance, the decay of potassium-40 produces positrons, which are anti-electrons. This isotope potassium-40 is usually found in bananas, carrots and of course in human bodies. While speaking about humans, the question that kept fascinating us since ages, how is this universe formed, can hopefully be answered by these antimatter. We are also trying to take the help of antimatter to accurately measure the Earth's gravitational acceleration and also in medicine as PET scans. They are used to image biological processes within body like CT scans which can only image bone structure. In positron emission tomography scans or PET scans, radioactive traces that emit positrons are used, which are tracked by the system to generate a 3D image over time. Before wrapping up this video, if you are interested in learning more about antimatter, feel free to check out our blog which is linked down in the description and also check the book Antimatter by Frank Close for any in-depth analysis about antimatter. So guys, thank you for watching this video, hope you liked it. If you did, please make sure to leave us a like and subscribe if you haven't already. And also make sure to leave your suggestions or queries down in the comments so that we can improve for the next video.